Hey guys, so this is a video and you know it's going to be good because I always make my best videos in midnight. Um, I w didn't want to make this video, but when I read more and more, I felt like it was a very good discussion point to have as Magic players. It's much more serious than a spo you know, spoiling cards, which I can do right now. But essentially, it's discrimination, um, potential, consistent whatever against magic players and how magic the gathering is viewed by non-magic players now i'll go into my own story but i wanted to share what happened with this guy his name is stefan i believe and he is a mtg finance person who went to gp philadelphia which is hosted by star city games and everyone at the gp felt there was a red tape or a there was two events happening. It was GP Philly as well as a gymnastics event. And in that event, the main participants and our organizers were uh, females and there were a lot younger females at the gymnastics event. Um, there was also a changing room and a cafe. So I'll get into that a little later. Uh, the original poster goes to the cafe. He leaves the cafe, goes to GP to trade, and then tries to go back to the cafe. Uh, the convention security tells him, hey, you're not allowed to be at the cafe because you're a magic player. Uh, and this has to do with the changing room being very close, I believe, to the cafe. So then the convention staff tells him, hey, you can't be there. Eventually, the Philadelphia police get involved and they, if you believe what he says, and again, I'm not going to jump to any conclusions, they pretty much forcefully remove him. Um, and they were very aggressive. Uh, essentially, what it is, if you are, are a non-magic play player, um, you don't. You look at a group of mostly males, and let's just be blanket honest. I know people just eat me up for this when I say magic is mostly males, because then I get all these comments from female magic players. They are all female magic players, but when you go to a GP event, it's going to be mostly males. Now. I can kind of see why this would, if you are a mom and you took your daughter to a gymnastics event, you might be a little sketched out. But the overall treatment and the way that Star City Games has dealt with this issue is, quite frankly, not good. Uh, it's not good because this is, it, it's one thing for other groups to discriminate against Magic players. But it's another thing for Magic pl players to discriminate against other Magic players or not be supportive in that aspect. I get it. You know, I totally get it. Um, it's not a great... I mean, someone made a mistake on the convention. You should not have had these two events at the same time. And if one of the events required changing rooms, and then I get that. There should be signs all over the place. There should be explanations of why someone cannot go to a cafe. There, there should be more than what it is. And you know, it, it's just so appalling to me that even now, um, so when I went to high school, magic was magic. You know, it was a demonic ritual. My gym teacher, you, uh, my English teacher, my English teacher in middle school, seventh grade, I'll never remember, forget this, would take our magic cards and throw them in a recycle bin because it was a w witchcraft. Like, I'm not kidding you. That's what Magic Gathering was, and it still has that connotation with it. If you don't play Magic and you're not a geek, you're not... So some geek hobbies like Superman, comics, that has caught on. You know, that has caught on. Other hobbies, Magic, I still feel like no matter how much Hasbro or Wizard of the Coast or whoever is in charge of marketing, it wants to make it mainstream is a component which it's still a trading card game and that doesn't people play video games because they get it you know everyone plays video games and there's different types of video games for there's sports video games for people who play sports and who enjoy sports and there's shooters who people who do that but magic is at the very heart not a video game uh, magic online is not a video game and it is just a trading card game and that has certain connotations with it largely negative so i'm going to share kind of an experience um a recent experience i had um so 
previous, let's go back six months ago, and I was on a blind date, actually, and um, off Tinder, of all things. I don't use Tinder now, obviously. But Tinder, and one of the conversations is like, oh, what do you do for a hobby? And I got into talking about YouTube and magic, right? Playing magic. And she was like, oh, you mean that hobby when that one writer, the blogger, I forget what her name, she blogged about John Finkel and being creepy because he was a magic player. That perception of magic players still exists. That has not gone away. When Allison, whoever, wrote an article about uh, John Finkel not revealing that he was the best magic player, and I believe he is, ever, you know, there's probably a reason John Finkel didn't bring it up. Um, because, you know, if you were the best basketball player ever, you would bring that up. You'd be like, hey, I'm LeBron James. Love Steph Curry, but I'm a big LeBron James fan. Or if you were the best, you know, at anything you did, even if you were the best chess player, the best go player, the best idol bridge player, you would probably say, bring that up during a dinner conversation, right? I, I imagine you would, because it would be something that would be interesting and it would be something that, you know, she could talk to you her friends about and it would be something that she can rem remember who you are but John Finkel didn't bring that up and my, many of you are going to criticize me for saying he shouldn't have to bring it up he shouldn't have to bring it up but if you are the best at something you should be proud of that you should absolutely be proud of it and there's this connotation there just is uh, this is one very good example of magic players um, honestly, if everything that the writer wrote and the people on Reddit are saying is true, being discriminated because they are magic players and there's a certain way people feel magic players should look. There's a certain, um, I, I guess there's a certain, this is a magic player and we're going to stereotype all the magic players together where it's actually very unique. If you're part of the magic community, you know how unique it is. Even among the YouTube channels, we're all so different from each other. But when you're outside the community, you don't know that. And when you are inside the community, you have to we have to kind of look out for each other because, you know, it's cold outside.